Each tag is securely fastened to your Velcro shorts. All jewellery, watches, rings and bracelets must be removed before kickoff. Always tuck your shirts into your shorts. In mixed tag, the girl takes the kickoff. Place the ball flat on the ground. The ball must be kicked a minimum of 10 meters. Try using your foot to stop the ball and then pick it up. Do not let the ball cross over the try line as this results in a drop kick. The drop kick is taken from behind the line. The ball must hit the ground before being kicked and it must go 10 meters. A grubber kick is a kick along the ground. It is generally not a good idea to kick on your first, second or third tag. The ball cannot be kicked above shoulder height. On your fifth and final tag, you can kick the ball down the field and force the opposition to run the ball back. This is a nice, flat, easy roll ball. Roll ball is thrown back too hard for the dummy half. Player who is tagged must roll the ball. The roll ball must be taken on the mark. A roll ball must not be popped in the air. The marker must wait until the dummy half touches the ball. The dummy half has three seconds to play the ball, otherwise it is a turnover. The marker cannot make any contact with the roll ball. It is better for the dummy half to get a long pass away from the roll ball to the first receiver and avoid the defensive marker. Run at spaces, not faces. Zero tolerance for contact. Run straight. Do not run across the pitch. A simultaneous tag and pass is ball away. If there is no marker, you can reattach your tag and tap and go. Girls' tries are worth three points, so remember to look around before you cross the try line. Here, the player is offside, not back seven meters, but in front of the referee. Here the defensive line is back 7 metres with the referee and the retrieving player is not offside. A good defensive line in tag is always flat, coming up together and at the same speed. Here one player shoots out of the defensive line and leaves behind a gap for the attacking team. The defending team must not close the gaps. Players must keep their hands away from their tags while running with the ball. You cannot hold back the attacking player to make a tag. The 
best way to tag a player is to try to use two hands to get in a crouching position and aim for the top of the tag. It is a good idea for every player to practice tagging as a warm-up drill before every match. Here a player stands still and his teammates run left and right practicing tagging on both sides. You can avoid a defender tagging by practicing twisting your hips and pushing your pelvis forward. The timing is critical. Just as the defender reaches for your tag, you twist your hips and accelerate forward. You are allowed to 360 spin, but you must avoid contact at all times.